What's up YouTube, how goes it? So today's video has been a long time coming. Today we're comparing two very popular iPhone accessories, in particular for the new iPhone 12 and 12 Pro series. Those accessories are in Apple's MagSafe leather wallet and MagBag's leather wallet as well. Like I said, they're very popular. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two to see what each one offers, which one will be right for you. As always, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to my channel, drop a like for this video. Let's get started. Starting with pricing, Apple's MagSafe leather wallet comes in four unique colors. The one we have here is the saddle brown color. It is retailing for $60 USD. On the other side, we have MagBag's wallet, which comes in three unique colors. The one we have here is the tan configuration. This retails for exactly $50 USD. And both of these wallets are available through MagBag or Apple's respective websites. Alrighty, so let's talk about the build quality for both these wallets. Starting off with Apple's MagSafe wallet, it definitely feels like a premium wallet. Apple has gone with a more modern look for their leather and you can tell because the wallet definitely feels very smooth to the touch. It's also very plush and soft, especially from the front side. You also have a more simple looking look. The front side you have the Apple branding and on the back side you have a push tab and that's pretty much it. In contrast to this, MagBag has gone with a more old school classic look for their leather wallet. What I mean by that is that the texture definitely feels more rough and rugged. Also, it's worth noting the color is a little more stretched out, which means it'll age beautifully. So if you like that more old school classic leather look, the MagBag wallet definitely has an advantage in that sense. Also, it's worth noting that MagBag has opted to include the branding on the back side of the wallet. So the front side of the wallet doesn't actually have any official MagBag branding. Depending on whether or not if you like branding or not, that might be a good thing. The most important factor when looking at these either wallets is practicality and functionality, especially given how small their size is. With that being said, starting with Apple's MagSafe wallet, I can tell you that you can fit a maximum of three cards. Apple recommends fitting no more than two cards as per the recommended guide. However, I was able to fit three cards pretty comfortably. The minute you try to fit a fourth one, you'll notice that it doesn't fully go in. I don't want to force it all the way in either in fear that I might overstretch the leather. So I definitely say card capacity is very limited. You can fit anywhere from two to three cards, reasonably speaking. One thing that I find pretty inconvenient about the Apple leather wallet is the fact that to actually remove these cards, you have to remove the wallet entirely. And that is a bit of a difficult task sometimes considering there's no grip or pull on tab. So basically you have to push the wallet outward. Once you do, you have access to the entire wallet and there is a push tab on the backside, which you can use to remove cards. Moving on to MagBag's wallet. Now the MagBag team claims you can fit six cards in here. That claim is true technically. However, However, it's a little more subjective than that. What I mean by that is I found realistically I could fit five full size credit card size cards in there without any issue. And I could fit a sixth one technically speaking, but when I do that, the wallet becomes very tight. Also, it becomes fairly difficult to remove those cards because of how cramped together they are. I would generally say that five cards is the more realistic capacity. However, if you have thinner cards, you could technically fit six or even more cards. That's still at the bare minimum, two more cards than you can fit on the Apple wallet. So capacity is definitely a big winner for the MacBag wallet. In terms of ease of use, I have to give it to MacBag. They really thought about how to make this wallet as practical as possible. What I mean by that is on the front side of the wallet itself, you actually have a pull tab, which makes it very easy to remove the actual wallet from the case. And you don't have to struggle very much. Also, there is a push tab on the front side, right beneath the pull tab itself. This makes it easy to remove cards from the front side. And of course, once you remove the wallet, there's also a dedicated push tab on the back side, which allows you to actually move the cards from the back side. Also, there is a divider within the wallet that allows you to separate cards. So if you want to keep cash, let's say on one side and cards on the other, you can do that. So definitely it's a more capable card in terms of both capacity and functionality. One additional added bonus functionality for the MagBack wallet is the fact that you can use it as a kickstand or a makeshift kickstand. And that's thanks to the fact that the magnets are placed towards the top side so you can rotate it as you want. Another really important area I wanna discuss is compatibility. Now both these vaults are great, but they do have certain restrictions that may make them less viable for certain customers. So starting off with Apple's MagSafe wallet, as per the name itself, you have to understand that you can only use Apple's MagSafe wallet with devices that have MagSafe 
update functionality. In this case, that means the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro series phones. So if you have an older iPhone, you cannot use the Apple MagSafe wallet. Additionally, if you are going to put on a case, you have to make sure that the third party case or first party case is MagSafe compatible. Otherwise, the wallet will not stick on and the magnet behind the phone is not strong enough to actually keep the wallet on if you have a case without MagSafe built in. Now on the flip side, MagBack wallet can actually be used with older generation iPhones. That means iPhone 11 or below. However, however, there is a big caveat and that is that you can only use the MagBack wallet exclusively with the MagBack case. So what that means is you cannot use any other third party case nor can you use a MagSafe compatible case because the MagBack wallet will only work with the exclusive MagBack cases that are offered on their website. This is because of the way the magnetic structure is placed. There's a stronger magnet in the MagBack wallet, so it's restricted to that case type. So it really comes down as a trade-off. Are you willing to give up third-party case variety for that particular privilege, or do you prefer to have more case variety? However, you prefer to have a limited option in terms of which iPhones can use this functionality. Given the information I just told you guys, if you are interested to see what kind of cases the MagBack team makes for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro or other iPhones, I actually did a review a couple of weeks back showing the MagBack case along with some other cool accessories that they offer. I will leave a link in the video description below for you guys to watch should you be interested. Here's my TLDR for you guys who didn't want to watch the whole video. Both these wallets are super premium, the leather is genuine, and it's great quality. I think from a raw functionality point of view, the MagBack wallet has a lot more going for it. You have a greater card capacity. You also have more convenience features built right into the wallet. The Apple wallet, on the other hand, has less functionality overall, but it has a more simple looking design. A lot of people might like the simple aesthetic, so they may lean towards that direction. Also, I think compatibility is a huge factor. Before you buy either of these wallets, make sure that they're compatible with A, your phone, and B, your case, because that's gonna determine if you can even use these wallets in the first place or not. As always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope you found it to be insightful in making the decision of which wallet you want to get. As always, if you like the content, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm always doing my best to pump out awesome quality content for you guys. Until next time, Soul of Tech, logging out.